Hi everybody, welcome to Katie in the Morning. I'm Katie Page, Director of Member Relations at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Uh, we are now at Wednesday. Tomorrow is National Career CNA Appreciation Day, which kicks off National CNA Appreciation Week. We have a lot of great things planned here at NACA. Tomorrow, we're actually going down to one of our member facilities um, in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. It's Franciscan Villa, and they have so many amazing CNAs there. We're going to do like a carnival type thing. Lori's going to do a presentation. Then we're going to do a little more carnival activities before we head back up here to Joplin. Uh, Franciscan Villa is such a great facility. They're, they have so many outstanding CNAs there. But if you think about it, there are outstanding CNAs in every facility in the United States. And one way to recognize those CNAs is to nominate them for a Key to Quality Award um, by entering a nomination on our website at www.nacacna.org. Uh, you go to the conference tab, hover over it, go to 2018, a little sidebar will pop up, and then click on Key to Quality Awards and it'll take you right to the nomination page. Uh, this week, we're taking a few days out to break down the categories and explain the um, credentialing, so to speak, that would uh, that would help eliminate the confusion of which category you want to put a CNA in. If you have a CNA that you're wanting to nominate, but don't really know which category you want to nominate them in, um, this will help you guys out a lot. So the first one we're going to talk about today is the CNA, CNA Academic Excellence Award. The recipient of this award must demonstrate academic excellence as a means of enhancing their profession. For candidates to be nominated, they must meet the following minimum standards, participation in center-based in-services, um, utilization of the NACA education resources, and self-directed learning. The caregivers who receive this award do so because they have distinguished themselves from their peers group, their peer groups by committing themselves to continued growth as professionals. Now we should have tweaked this one a little bit because it's not just facility-based anymore. There are hundreds of individual learners, individual members uh, that are now enrolled into the NACA program who do have the education uh, through their membership. So if you are an individual member and you are in there doing your 12 hours of required education, your preceptor, um, program and your geriatric care specialist program, nominate yourself for an academic excellence award. Um, your, your CNA academic excellence award. Uh, these are CNAs that go above and beyond by seeking education on their own, not just through their center on the individual side, um, learning the, the, the evolving tools that we need on a day-to-day -day basis, um, federal regulations, researching outside of the box. This is all stuff that you would include in a nomination for a fellow CNA or for yourself. Uh, the second one that we have up today is excellence in leadership. The recipient of this award uh, is, outstanding, is an outstanding supporter of the team approach and provide quality resident care. They not only work well as team players, but stand out as leaders. Uh, a minimum of two years of experience is required. So the excellence in leadership is somebody, uh, a lot of you peer mentors, the preceptors will fit into this category, even if you're not a certified preceptor, but you kind of go head on into the ruckus and kind of help guide everybody else through that. Um, and a perfect example of that is when you're transitioning from paper charting to electronic charting, uh, it's not just the management team that helps coach each other through that. CNAs who are kind of catching on easier or may have used it previously in another center uh, would be perfect examples of the excellence in leadership by tutoring other CNAs on how to learn that program and make it smooth, make it smooth throughly. <laughs> so go make it go smoothly. Um, that would be a perfect example of uh, what you would include in a nomination. This would also include um, like the gate belt transferring, even if you're not like a lead CNA, but you're helping others learn from your mistakes or their mistakes, uh, include those in your nominations when you're writing and sending them in. And I want to remind you guys again, please sign your name on those nominations as well. That way we know who is um, nominating other CNAs or if you're nominating yourself. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about another award category. When you have satisfied and content CNAs, the care is better and you're going to have less nursing assistant turnover. So many times I think they're just, you know, in the trenches and nobody hears, and nobody cares about them. And, and it's not true. You know, it's simply not true. And, and this organization helps, that, helps them gain that voice and helps them be heard. We're awesome. And I'm going to hold my head high and I'm going to ride this magic carpet and I'm going to change the world. That's what NACA did for me. For more information, visit us online at nakacna.org or call 417-623-6049.
From the Heart, a weekly segment with John Willard, airs every Tuesday at 2.30 Central Time on CNA TV. Welcome back to Katie in the Morning. Um, today we're breaking down four more of the Key to Quality Award nominations. We've gone through the first two, and so we're going to jump right back into the third one, and it is Person-Centered Service. The recipient of this award are caregivers who have an excellent rapport with the residents and their families. They have the confidence of their residents' families, caregivers who make residents and their families wish there were more caregiver, caregivers like them. They treat families as well as the residents with dignity and respect. Uh, the CNAs that you're looking for to nominate in this category, um, for example, there's a CNA that I worked with um, back in Iowa, and we worked in the dementia care unit together, and you know how rowdy they can get, especially when the sun's, sundowners hit. Well, she had a way of working with residents and wording things that she could get the most combative, stubborn resident to do what she wanted them to do without them even realizing that they were doing it. Um, the family loved her. Um, they got to the point where they didn't even come into the facility unless they knew she was working because they had that communication with her and that trust in her. So that's somebody that that is the type of person that you would want to nominate for this category. If you feel like you have that rapport and you have that trust with those family members, definitely nominate yourself in this category as well. Uh, like I said, you go to our website at www.nacacna.org. Um, click on the conference tab, 2018 will pop up, hover over that. Don't click on it, but hover over it. And a, a sidebar will pop up to the right-hand side, right-hand side, <laughs> that says uh, Key to Quality Awards and Essay Scholarship. K click on the Key to Quality Awards and it'll take you right to the page where you can nominate somebody. And then the last award that I wanted to highlight today is the Devoted Service Excellence Award. The recipients of this award set the standard for attendance and the delivery of care. Their attendance record goes beyond working their standard schedule. Uh, these professionals develop, demonstrate that they are willing to work extra shifts to ensure that the exceptional care is delivered to those they serve. Their commitment to excellence in care shows in every aspect of their service. They invest the time to make every life interaction meaningful for their elders, um, from a daily care through making the end of their life experience comfortable um, and dignified. Uh, their devotion is unmistakable. So this is the person that is coming in early, staying late, giving up their vacation times, coming in on their weekends. Someone that in their head, when you ask them to come in, they might want to tell you no, but then in the back of their mind, they're thinking, well, what are my residents going to do without me? We all have that one person, that go-to person that never says no, even though they probably should. Um, show up for their shifts and then some. Uh, these are the people that volunteer to help transport. These are the people that volunteer when you have an activity going on in your center and you need a couple extra hands there, that person that you go to, um, just to make sure that the residents have everything that they need anytime that they need it. Um, I'm going to scoot out of here because I have a lot of stuff to do to plan for tomorrow for National CNA, Career CNA Appreciation Day. Uh, and you guys might want to tune in tomorrow because there may or may not be a giveaway. Those X-Files, I don't know why I did that. But I thank you guys all for joining me today and I'll see you right back here at 10 a.m. tomorrow for Katie in the Morning.